Hello and welcome to DFS Coach Talk. I am Josh Davis, also known as Crash. Today is Friday, April 29th, 2022. And I am here to talk to you guys about the Major League Baseball slate we have tonight. We have a huge 13-game slate on the main slate. Um, if you're new to the channel, if you would, give us a like and hit the subscribe button. And then if you would, after you subscribe, please hit the notifications bell. That will let you know when the latest podcast has been added to the channel. Um, so definitely want to make sure that you, you hit that notifications bell. Our presenting sponsor today is Prize Picks. If you go to prizepicks.com, use promo code COACHTALK, all one word with no spaces, uh, they will 100% match your first deposit up to $100. So definitely want to check out Prize Picks. We give out Prize Picks plays during every podcast, and we've been winning a lot. We also post them on Twitter. Um, if you haven't joined us yet, you can join us at dfscoachtalk.com. We have memberships that start as low as a three-day membership for $10. We recently had our, our five-day free trial membership, so I hope you guys were able to be a part of that. Um, I'm going to be going over the 13-game main slate, as I mentioned, on FanDuel and DraftKings. It starts at 7.05 Eastern. It looks like as far as the weather goes, the main game we'll have to keep an eye on is going to be the Los Angeles Angels at the Chicago White Sox. And then there's also, to a lesser degree, a little bit of a chance of some rain, uh, possibly a delay uh, in St. Louis and then Kansas City as well. So those are the three games that we'll have to keep an eye on. I don't think we'll have any major issues there, but just something to keep an eye on. Um, for my pitchers, my top pitcher play is going to be Nestor Cortez. He's 10000 on both sites. There really isn't a clear-cut uh, top pay-up option on this slate, in my opinion, so it's really going to come down to a few guys for me. Cortez is one of my favorites against the Royals. Um, I also like Tyler McGill against the Phillies. He's 9,000 on FanDuel. He's 9,800 on DK. He did pitch five and a third shutout innings with five strikeouts against the Phillies on April 12th. So I like McGill here at home. Um, I also like Alex Wood at home against Washington. He's 9,500 on FanDuel, 8,700 on DK. So those three guys or four guys, three guys, yeah, three guys will be my top payup options. I'm just kind of deciding throughout the day which ones I want to use. Uh, but those are the three favorite for me at the top. Uh, Frankie Montas, I want to mention him too. You could look at him, but to me, he's the highest priced pitcher and he's going up against Cleveland. And I feel like, you know, he hasn't really given us those huge games. He's been getting around 40 to 45 fantasy score, which for a 10K plus pitcher is not really good enough value. So I kind of look at, um, you know, these other guys in the 9K range um, and then Cortez, which is at 10 flat. For value, I like Adrian Hauser of the Brewers. He's 7,500 on FanDuel. He's 7,300 on DK. He's kind of a high floor, low ceiling kind of a pitcher. Uh, so you want to pair him up with one of these higher priced pitcher options. Uh, but as an SB2, I think you could do a lot worse. He doesn't give up a lot of hits, you know, big hits and home runs and stuff like that. He had the second highest ground ball rate last year. So he's going to get a lot of ground balls, um, you know, probably pitch five, six, maybe, you know, five, maybe six innings, you know, maybe allow a run or two and, and then, you know, three or four strikeouts probably. So like I said, not huge numbers, but definitely a safer option um, when you look at the value options. Other value option you can look at is on the opposing side. Um, Kyle Hendricks, he's 8,400 on FanDuel, 7,400 on DK. He has had a lot of success against the Brewers, but really it's been ha happening at Wrigley Field and not so much at, in Milwaukee at uh, Miller Park or Amfield. Um, so Amfam Field, I should say. But um, that, you know, those would be the two value options that I like would be Hauser and, and uh, to a lesser degree Kendricks. Uh, as far as a fade, I think Madison Bumgarner is going to get some ownership. He's 7,400 on FanDuel. He's 7,100 on DK. He's gotten off to a really strong start this year um, with an ERA of like 1.5. He shut out the Mets and the Nationals in his last two starts, but he's going to St. Louis tonight against, you know, Cardinals team that's had some success against him. I think he's due for a little bit of regression. Uh, Goldschmidt and Arenado have both hit three home runs against him in their career, and I wouldn't be surprised if one or maybe even both of them give him some trouble again tonight, which leads me to my prize picks play, 
Uh, it's going to be Tyler O'Neill over five and a half fantasy score. Tyler O'Neill's hitting 417 against lefties this year. And in, in four of his last five games, he's gone over this number. So I like Tyler O'Neill to go over that five and a half fantasy score on prize picks. And once again, if you haven't joined prize picks yet, go to prizepicks.com, use promo code CoachStock, all one word, and they will 100% match that first deposit up to $100. So great deal there on prize picks. My BVP play of the day is going to be Paul Goldschmidt of the same Cardinals team. He's 3,500 on FanDuel, 4,700 on DK. He's hitting 338 against Baumgartner with 24 hits and 71 at bat. So a huge sample size here for Goldschmidt. Um, he has 14 singles, five doubles, two triples, and three home runs. So I like Paul Goldschmidt. His price has come down quite a bit from where it was at the beginning of the year. And uh, I think he's due to turn it around very soon. So it could start tonight. My top payup stacks, these are going to be more chalky options. It's a 13-game slate, so there's going to be a lot of different stacks that people are going to be going to. I think two of the more popular owned stacks are going to be these two. The first one's going to be the Yankees. Um, been very popular this week in their series with Baltimore. I'm sure they'll be popular here again against Kansas City in 70-degree weather, weather against Chris Bubich, who's not been very good. Um, Anthony Rizzo and Josh Donaldson are the two Yankees that have faced him before, but obviously Aaron Judge, John Carlos Stanton, DJ LeMayhew, you know, those guys are all always in play. I like the Rockies as well. I'm sure they're going to be chalky. They're at Coors. Um, they're going up against Hunter Green, the rookie, and he has been solid, but, you know, pitching in Coors is a different animal, especially when you're pitching there for the first time. So, Charlie Blackman, Connor Joe, CJ Crone, Ryan McMahon would be the top Rockies for me uh, tonight. And then for GPPs, I do like the Cardinals, as I mentioned, Goldschmidt, Arenado, Tommy Edmond, Dylan Carlson. Those are all going to be, um, you know, the, the most popular Cardinals, but I think they're also the best plays. And then Tyler O'Neill. Um, I don't know why his name wasn't listed there, but obviously Tyler O'Neill as well. Um and then uh, and O'Neal, as I mentioned, is hitting 417 against lefties. So I really like O'Neal. And then my other stack is going to be the Atlanta Braves. They're going up against Garrett Richards. It's going to be about 80 degrees is the forecast. And Acuna Jr. Um, Acuna Jr. won't be in the lineup tonight, even though he made his season debut last night. And uh, so he won't have Acuna Jr. for the Braves. But still, Ozzy Albies, Matt Olson, Dansby Swanson seems to be heating up after a slow start. And then Marcelo Zuna would be the favorites for me for Atlanta. My home run call is going to be Hunter Renfro. Uh, coach went to him yesterday. He didn't get it done for us. But I do like Hunter Renfro. He has four hits and 10 at-bats um, against Kyle Hendricks, including a home run. And I also want to say shout out to Coach. He couldn't be on the podcast today. He had a meeting. But uh, he did make a home run call of Aaron Judge, which Aaron Judge did hit that three-run homer late in the game yesterday. So that was really good. We had him in a lot of our lineups and helped us all cash pretty nicely. So shout out to Coach for that home run call. That's it, guys. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick look at today's slate. And like I said, if you haven't joined us yet, join us at DFS Coach Talk. You can follow DFSCoachTalk.com. Follow us on Twitter at DFS Coach Talk. I'm at JP Davis 1982. Coach is at Joe Servati. And uh, like I said, if you haven't joined us yet, we'd love to have you join. Uh, this weekend would be a great time to join. We got the NBA playoffs and, of course, Major League Baseball. And then Coach has the Mexico Open Golf Tournament that he's going to be giving a weekend lineup out for. So, that's it, guys. I hope you guys have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. We'll be looking to crush it in MLB DFS and prize picks. Thank you.